Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So today we are going to work on probably going to a new system. I think we discovered all the planets here. Uh, yes, we have. So, you know what? Um, let's go ahead to go to our trademark terminal and we'll see if we can't... Um, get some more of those parts, the uh, things that we needed to buy here. Okay, there's not a lot that we can buy at the moment. Uh, put that in here. We'll see if we can't get some more from the uh, space station as well. Uh, we do have these GEC uh, things that we can trade in. Um, I think that was it. So let's go ahead to the space station and then we'll just quickly, um, actually, can we even, can we use the portal, I wonder? I might be able to. It'd be quicker to get there. So space stations, let's see if the current system. So there we go. We don't even need to leave our ship. Huh. So it should only take one second to get there because we're in the same system. All right, and then we'll just quickly go ahead and grab. Okay, there isn't actually that much here at the moment. Let's go to the other trade terminal and see if there's anything on that one. It's just across the way here, so we'll just quickly go over here. See if this one actually gives it to us. If not, then what we'll do is we'll just uh, find a new system to go trade with. But I'm pretty sure we haven't been into this room yet, so we'll see. No, oh yes, these are not connected. All right, perfect. So purchase all of those. Perfect. All right. So I guess the trade terminals are separate from each other. So we did were able to get some of the some of these things. Um, that can go there. So that should help with the trading. Now let's see if we can't find... So before we leave, we should see what they have to offer for the starships and the exocrafts. See if there's any Class S stuff. Okay, we got Phase Beam, Launcher Thruster. So I think I'll purchase the Launcher Thruster and Phase Beam. Might be able to get some stuff out of that. Uh, let's go to this one and see what they have. Drive. Uh,
got a, actually a really interesting idea. And I wanted to see if selling at the trade station here is worth more than trading down on the planet. So what I'm going to do is I have one star silk in my inventory and apparently that's an advanced material so that won't really work for us. Um, we need to trade power generation so we'll grab one of these instead. So what we'll do is we'll split this stack up so we can basically put one in our inventory and then we'll see how much it's worth up here and we'll go to sell um it's worth 19,604 so we'll just say 19,500 so now that we know that price what i'm going to do is actually we'll say 600 just to make it even uh what we'll do is we'll go back down to that uh planet i have a uh waypoint set up well not a waypoint but like a Place where I can actually see where there's a trade center so we can go right there and we'll see if it, the price is actually better here than it is on the um, the space station because I've actually constantly wondered about this but I have never been able well I haven't not that I wasn't able to but I haven't tried to see if there was a difference so let's go ahead down here and we'll just quickly see if there's any difference or not and if there is, then we'll see if we can't sell it here instead. Um, the smaller ones, the smaller bases are a lot harder to find. So I don't know if we'll be able to test at one of those locations too. But we'll see if there's any difference. So sell. Oh, wow. There is a huge difference. Um, 200 and... 22,830. So the other one was like, what, uh, 19,000? So there, there is quite a bit of difference here. Uh, let's just put a bookmark uh, here. Uh, we'll give it a red one. So we can come back here anytime. And then what we'll do is, what we'll do is we'll try to find it a different one on a different planet. And we'll see if there's any huge difference. Uh, if it's like per bait, like per planet, like per station trade terminal, or if it's um, just the actual trade station. So I want to see if there's actually a huge difference. So we'll see if we can't go to another planet quickly.
so from my observations from the difference between the station here um there is a quite a bit of difference for selling it at one of these um places compared to on the station uh the other place was about nineteen thousand. um down here regardless of where you basically trade uh, the price is actually significantly better, like 22,600, 22,500, around there, for the um, the sell back price. Now this is like a three star economy system too, right? So um, definitely selling is better at one of these places. I'm not sure about buying, so we should actually take a look at something that we could probably find on the space station. We'll say. Um, 359, so we'll round it to 400 for one of these. Um, we get how much percent for sell buying here? 60, 65% uh, for buying, basically. So let's put a marker down here just so we know we'll paint it blue so we know which one it is. And uh, we'll go back to the, the space station and see if there's um, a higher price that we have to pay there or if it's lower on the space station. There might be a system in place where if you trade on a planet, it might be cheaper and better off overall. But uh, let's just quickly go to the um, space station and just confirm that. I know that the selling is a lot better, but I'm not sure about the buying. So, we'll quickly take a look at that. Um, I also have the other waypoint for the marker on that planet, so we can go back and confirm with that um, thing. I did see a random um, trade terminal, and it doesn't look like it's any different than the ones that you can search with your ship. So, um, they're probably isn't a huge difference going to smaller settlements. I wasn't able to find one just yet, but we will try to find one and see if there's any huge significant difference for actually trading at one of the smaller settlements. Not settlement, but like the um, outposts uh, or compared to one of the larger ones. But I have a feeling that it's probably going to be about the same. So we'll just go back over here and we'll see what the price is. So I said about 600, right? So yeah, this is actually more expensive to trade on the terminal, but you do get a lot more that you can get. So it's about...
All right, so I did manage to find one of the smaller ones, and it actually turns out that these are more profitable just by a small margin um, than the larger stations. The larger stations and even the trade terminals that you find very rarely um, on the ground um, just as a trade terminal block itself uh, are about 22,000 roughly maybe a little bit over about 22,500. Uh, this will obviously vary depending on the economy but uh, that will give you kind of a base value of uh, with the differences. Now this station here was about 23,000, which is a little bit better, not by much, but compared to the space station, it's, um, that was about 19,000, 19, so you're actually getting a better deal at one of these than at the, any other trade terminal. I'm not sure if the settlements, uh, if some of, I don't think some of them actually have, uh, trade terminals to begin with, so... Don't think really testing there would be worthwhile um if you have your own settlement it might vary but um yeah it depends if you have it built or not but basically if, if you're coming to trade with these products and stuff like that like the ones that we have um in our economy here i did purchase some extra but buying and selling is a lot cheaper here than it is on any other particular one so just some fun facts for you. Uh, I will probably make a uh, specific video just kind to uh, make it a little bit more obvious and easier for people to find than watching a gameplay video. But um, overall, this is definitely the better trade terminal to purchase overall. So outside of that, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.